Today we're going to take this light bulb and fit a miniature world inside of it. Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. Today we're going to make beautiful light bulb art. For this project, we'll need two images, this one of a light bulb and this image of a lake. I've included a download link in the description for both of these images. Once you've opened both of them up, come to the light bulb image and we're going to remove this light in the center of it so we have a blank clear light bulb. To do this, we'll need our in painting brush tool, which we can access from this button over here. I already have mine up, but if yours is showing a band aid, just click and hold and all the options will appear and select the in painting brush tool. Now anything that we paint, Affinity Photo will remove from the image. For example, if I paint across this light and wait a second, Affinity Photo has removed it. Now I can paint over this and remove that part of the image also. So I'm going to go through and remove all of this from the light bulb. Now that our light bulb is clear, we're going to come to the top and go to our lake photo. The first thing we need to do is delete the sky which we can do by using our flood select tool and then setting the tolerance to 25% and then clicking in the middle of the sky. Now our sky is selected and we simply need to press delete and it is gone. Now press command D, D for deselect to get rid of the marching ants. Now to bring the lake over to the light bulb, we're going to press Command C, C for copy, go back to the light bulb and press Command V to paste in the image. Now we are going to resize the lake so it fits inside the light bulb. To do this, we need to use our move tool, this black arrow, and now we can move the lake and resize it until it will fit perfectly inside of our light bulb. Just make sure it covers up both sides of the light bulb as well as the bottom, but it does not need to go to the top. In fact, it's better if the trees are somewhere in the middle of the light bulb. Now we're going to apply a mask to the lake by pressing on the mask icon. Now that a mask is applied, we're going to paint out some of the lake so it looks like it is fitting right inside the light bulb and not overflowing past it. To do this, we need to use the brush. So press B for brush and take the hardness down to 0%. Now we can paint away the lake so it fits inside the light bulb. You can make your brush bigger by pressing the bracket keys under the equal sign. And if you ever paint too much away, you just need to press X and you'll paint in white to bring back the lake. So take a minute and paint away the lake so it fits inside the light bulb. Okay, that's looking good to me. The last thing we're going to do is change the lighting in this photo. To do so, we need to press on the lake icon and then change our blend mode from normal to linear light and that adds a nice lighting effect to our image. And with that, we are done. Isn't that a beautiful light bulb? If you want to see more fun tutorials, be sure to subscribe to our channel. So hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.